Hi, this is Ariane from La Fille de la Mer, handmade soap shop in the Magdalen Islands. I know I said that my next video would be a tour of where I live and about my soap shop, but the weather has been so bad this week that I decided to do it for next week because we'll only have sun like in four days. So today I will show you how I do my melt and pour soaps. Here we go. So today I will be making this soap. It is a cucumber and goat's milk soap. It's glycerin, uh, melt and pour glycerin based. And I'm making them using my 24 inch long um, stainless steel molds. So they have, they're, they're stainless steel and the, the sides are with heavy duty plastics and they're just held by uh, little bungee cords. Here you can see that all my molds are lined up and this is my uh, melt and pour melting tanks. I've got two of those and I I find them very practical because I just put my melt and pour there I set it at 180 degrees Fahrenheit at about 10 o'clock at night and when I get to work in the next morning everything's melted and ready to go not too hot not too warm usually when I set it at 180 degrees at night, I will get in the morning and, and my soap will be at about 160, 165 degrees. It's never as hot as the, as the temperature what setting. What I do first is that, well actually I've made some clear green melt and pour base that I've uh, wrapped up and what I do is that I will do my swirls at first and my other embeds. So I just take this cheese slicer and I make some soap curls. <clears throat> I'll just show you like how I make them very quickly. So I'll make a bunch of those <clears throat> and then with very clean hands I I twist them like this. I know I won't have enough because I'm making a whole bunch of soap today, <clears throat> but basically when you take your green soap, <clears throat> usually I cut off a few slices to make other embeds. Okay, and then I will take I will cut about an inch thick of a bar. And I like to have different greens, so this green is actually a little bit darker than this one. There. So, that's what I do. I'll show you in a few minutes when I have a whole bunch. <clears throat> okay, so now that those are done, uh, I've cut some chunks of soaps. Those are just some soap strips that I chop with my knife. There. And I take my swirls and I just put them onto my soap sticks. Just take these and <clears throat> put them in my mold. And also use a few extra like 
vitesse. Voilà. These are my additives that I will put in my soap. This is about 150 grams of coconut oil that I will melt. This is melted. I will add to it, I will just put it on the scale here, sorry. I will add to it 100 grams of Multibay's uh, skin lotion. There we go. I will also add some uh, goat's milk powder. I'm adding four tablespoons. And also uh, cucumber extract. When I'm done putting all my additives in my measuring cup, I just take a stick blender and I mix it really smoothly to incorporate everything together. When I'm done with that, I just take some of my uh, pre-melted melt and pour soap base and add it directly into my measuring cup. This will help me to incorporate uh, my additives to my soap mixture. Just uh, I make sure that my soap mixture is not too hot because I don't want to burn all those good additives. There we go. Okay, so let's send this up. I'm using a fresh cucumber fragrance oil. Also, I will add some melon ball uh, fragrance oil to give a nice fruity and fresh cucumber scent to my soap. Getting ready to pour. <clears throat> I'm putting some rubbing alcohol on my emits. Here we go. Okay, so my melt and pour soaps have hardened. So this is what they look like when they are ready to unmold. <clears throat> So usually what I do, I just take out the bungee cord from one end and then I just pop the top off and just open up like this, turn it around, push the other one end up.
next step will be to cut and package the soaps. So I will take you to my shop and show you how we do things there. Let's go! Hi, welcome to my shop. So I'll give you a little tour. I'll start with the outside and I'll walk you inside. So hope you enjoy the visit. Here I'm just behind my shop and I just wanted to show you the view. We are on the historical site of La Grave, which is uh, very beautiful in the summer. Today is a little bit gray, but I'll show you anyways. Let's go inside and take a little look. That's my uh, glycerin mountain pour soap table. I have a lot of varieties and I keep making new ones. I'm a little bit um, enthusiast, a soap enthusiast, I think. <clears throat> and in just a second, you can see my cupcakes in the window there. That's my cash registered. I'm sorry, it's this part of my shop is a little messy, but it's so small in here that I just have all my wrapping and packaging things all cut up in the same corner and there you can see my shrimp wrapping machine and my heat gun and that's my soap world collection I have a soap collection from all around the world people send me a soap I give them one in exchange from mine look that's Judy Ann soap from uh, the soap swap and it's from Arizona and many other soaps from all over the world that's a little video that I play in my shop all day to show people how I make my soaps at home. They, they love to see me doing it and since the shop is too, too small for me to make them there, then I have this video running. One day, maybe, I'll get a bigger shop. So I have bubble bath, uh, massage oil, bath salts, those are children's soap making kits that I made. And those are my cold processed soaps. They're 100% natural, there's no uh, artificial colors or fragrance and those are with essential oils and the colors are either clay, coffee, uh, ground stone or oxides. I, I am developing a more colored line, it'll be... Uh, sometimes in the future. Voila! You've pretty much seen it all. Oops, I forgot to show you my cupcakes. I won't name them all, but as we say in French, une image vaut mille mots. An image is a thousand words, so take a good look. It just started to rain, so that's probably the end of the tour for today, but I promise I will show you where I live when it's a very beautiful day and I'll take you to the beach. See ya!